here with Mike Fuhrer. He is the uh, Los Angeles City Attorney. He's also a co-chair for the Prosecutors Against Gun Violence. Hi, Mike. Thanks for being with us. It's a pleasure to be with you. So you know there's so much going on. Yes. And the students seem to be taking a lead, which we love. Right. But we do need to get the support from our federal agencies and our right. state and city. Tell me a little bit about how you feel uh, we're dropping the ball with respect to um, gun prevention on the federal level. Yeah, because here in California, both in Los Angeles and as a statewide matter, we've made enormous strides. I've been very proud to be a part of that for the better part of 20 years. Uh, so here in, in LA, we've enacted laws and at the state level that the federal government should follow up on. For example, um, we need to have an assault weapons ban as a nationwide matter. We need to have background checks, not just for some, but for everyone. That loophole needs to close. And there's a law that California and a few other states have in place that might have made a difference in parkland had they had it in Florida then. It's called the Gun Violence Restraining Order. The basic thrust of it is this, that law enforcement or family members who think that there's an individual who is a danger of imminent harm to themselves or others and has access to guns could be the subject of an effort to go to court where a judge would say we're going to temporarily take guns out of that person's hands so the crisis passes. Oh, and, and, and had that happened, you know, think about what we know about Parkland mm -hmm. with Nick Cruz, who showed all these warning signs that he was a very volatile kid, a deeply Absolutely. troubled kid, and he had access to guns. Too late, Florida just enacted a version of the law I described. So that the NRA and others who oppose common sense gun rules are waiting for the page to turn. We cannot let the page turn until we have action. What is, it, what, are the, what is the NRA trying to accomplish with these rules? You know, the, the, what's so sad is the NRA years ago used to be a bipartisan organization and it would support common sense gun violence restrictions. But things have changed. I can't put myself in their heads at the moment. But I can say this. When it comes to basic issues of safety in school and public health, we should be on the same page, working together as a team. If that's not going to happen now, either be part of that team or get out of the way. Because right now, we saw even minor changes in law in Florida happen because the students stood up and notwithstanding in our opposition, they got some progress. Not enough, but some progress. Score, students won, NRA nothing. Let's keep that going. Well, I want to tell you, my takeaway from this conversation is it's refreshing to have a man with heart in politics. Thanks. It's refreshing to have a man that cares enough about the community, which is why Mayor Bradley is somebody that we represent. Right. And I think if we remember that, the community, whether it's somebody that you directly are affected by through gun violence, it affects us all. Right. So thank you for championing this in Los Angeles, and we're all going to stick with you and make sure nationally we get some things changed. Stick with each other. Yes. Good to see you. Thank you. Thanks, Okay.